smell isn't good here. No. It's like some sort of silo station. But a silo station for what? Something's coming. Daleks. These intruders are to be exterminated. Fire at my command. Wait a minute. No, you can't. Total extermination. Fire, fire, fire. Maximum power. Fire, fire. Total malfunction. Total power failure in armament equipment. Hmm. Well, well, well. Daleks without the power to kill. How does it feel? Keep away. Keep away. And if I do, what will you do? You can't exterminate me? Your weapons are totally useless. You will obey our instructions. You're not in the position to give any instructions. No, we're all in this together. All equal. All powerless. These intruders could be of value to us. They could join the workforce. Workforce? What workforce? You can help us. We are looking for a cure. A cure? Yes. We are facing extinction. You're dying? Of what? We have been infected with a form of space plague. We cannot find a cure by ourselves. We need assistance. A scientific developed race like yourselves and being able to find the answer? Well, that is a problem. You will help. Certainly not. You're Daleks. You're evil. You have no regard for any other race in the universe other than yourselves. You deserve what's coming to you. If you will not work voluntarily, we will force you to work. Take these prisoners to the induction center. I obey. Move. Move. What are the Daleks doing here, Doctor? Well, I imagine they're in the same boat as we are, Tom. The weapons are totally useless. They're not functioning properly. I think they're just about as desperate as we are, and that makes them all more dangerous. Well, this virus, as they say they have, I'm going to be sure that we have that as well. That's a fair point. We're all on the same boat, don't you agree? Stop! What is it? You will wait here. You know, Tom, I do believe that this is all beginning to add up now. It seems that everything is so inextricably linked. What do you mean? Well, the TARDIS is in power and cutting out of control. This silo station. You mean we're hostages? Yes. Along with the other crew members of that ship we found outside. You're not seriously suggesting that we should cooperate with the Daleks. I'll not cooperate them with their sakes, Tom, but for our sakes. I don't know, Doctor. I still don't like it. What's that noise? Some sort of an alarm. Keep moving. You will rest here. You will rest here. Well, hello there. A most timely greeting. Who are you? We weren't expecting others. How did you get here? Well, the same way you did, apparently. Our ship lost power. We crash landed here. By accident. So the Daleks got you too, eh? Well, it seems so. I'm the Doctor, and this is Tom Clark. Hey, everyone. What's your name? Brent. Commander Brent. Of Salvage Team 3. This is Shay and Ran. Are there any more of you? There are two of us, but they're still on shift. They haven't finished yet. Are you all slaves here? I think slave is a very understated, productive word, Doctor. No. We're here because we're trying to cure the virus. Virus? The space plague we've been infested with. Seems the Daleks picked it up as well. I see. Have you been outside, into the wastelands? Well... Well, yes. Yes, we have. Then I'm afraid... You and your friend have been infested with the radiation poisoning as well. Well, I can assure you, if we had taken ill, me and my companion would have known about it by now. 
The radiation poisoning emitted by the twin suns orbiting around this planet takes its time. You don't know you've got it, not until it's too late. So, we're all in this together because we've all been emitted with the same radiation poisoning. We've been trying for weeks to find a cure, but haven't had much success. Even the full extent of our resources on our spaceship couldn't find it. We just haven't been able to calculate it. And the Daleks, well, a scientific minds like them, none being able to find the answer, it's a problem. So when did the defects start? About a month ago. So who arrived on this planet first? You or the Daleks? Well, we did. We came here to scavenge the planet for mineral orbs. The useful resources back on Earth. I decided against going to Vartus, but the commander thought otherwise. Yes, thank you, Ran. Anyway, Doctor, we were unaware of the condition the planet was in when we landed. And there wasn't any sign of radiation because it didn't pick up on our computer. We've been scavenging this planet for months now. Then the Daleks arrived. We thought it was a space shuttle from Earth come to help us. But then, well, that's when things started to go a bit pear-shaped. So what have you been doing so far? Well, we've been doing critical tests, analysing blood samples, comparing human tissue and Dalek tissue together, but nothing seems to add up. We believe there could be something else to it. Well, Tom, we have no alternative. We have to help the Daleks, not for their sake, but for ours, and for the people on the ship. The sooner we get off this planet, the better. So what will happen now? You'll be put to work. But don't worry, you'll be working in one of the Dalek Science Lab units. There'll be all the equipment you need. I just hope we can make a very good use of our time. Oh, believe me, there isn't enough time for anything. You get very little time, and in the time you do have, you don't seem to make any productive progress. Well, it's simple how we can make the ends justify the means. We just need to make a more practical use of our time. Now, I believe in a practical approach to this problem. Now, Tom here is a qualified medic. He understands this sort of thing. Yeah, I'm um, sure once I've looked over everything that you've got, I uh, might be able to make heads or tail of what's going on. And we've got decent technology at our disposal. You just don't know how to use it properly. Yes, with Dalek technology at our disposal. We have technology and computers that can work things out quicker than any technology product on Earth. But even the Daleks themselves don't know what to do. Yes, because the Daleks never experienced it before. With science on our side, we can't fail. And what about you, Doctor? Are you some kind of scientist? I'm every kind of scientist. Fine. But it's up to you what you do. Leave us to what we have to do. Rest period is over. You will return to work. Move. Move. Report. The alien known as the Doctor must be watched. He is untrustworthy. Agreed. He will help us cure the radiation poisoning. And then we will destroy him. His ambitions outseek his usefulness. Monitoring administration. Power online. You will work faster. We're going as quickly as we can. We can't be rushed. You will make productive progress. There! I've done it. We're nearly there. Excellent. Results are satisfactual. We're nearly there. Just give us a couple more days and we have no more time. Productive progress and efficiency must be increased by 10%. It is to be done in one day. That's just implausible. We can't do it. We made a deal. You will obey. You will obey. You will obey. We don't need the Daleks, Doctor. There's something they can't do we can't do on our own. You forget, Tom. The Daleks are brilliant scientific minds. They're programmed for this sort of thing. I wonder if we can use their scientific brilliance to our advantage. I mean, we have all this equipment here. It'd be a pity not to use it. What are you doing, anyway? I thought I'd take a look at the results. See what anything that Brent or any of his crew have come up with. No luck so far. Now they seem to have tried everything. 
but nothing they do seems to make any difference. Well, I'm a medic. I can always give them a blood test. Blood test tissue samples? Nothing seems to have done much good. They've already tried that. What about the Daleks? Can't we learn from them? We can do. There's no harm in asking, is there? Hello there! Uh, excuse me. If we're to find a cure, I'll need tissue samples. Yes. I'd also like to know how you came across it. I shall speak to the Dalek controller. You will wait here. Well, it's a start. They may agree with to our terms, Tom. But still, we shouldn't trust them. I know that. Hey. What's that there? What? There. Seems to be some sort of empty room. A blank space that no one seems to have picked up. Yes, well, you'd assume that it's just a blank space, nothing there. Or something that the Daleks are covering up, they wouldn't want us to see. Let's see, section A. That's not far from here, we could go now. Well, that Dalek's not going to be back for a while. Come on. Just have a look, I want to check that out. They are going to section area A. No matter, they cannot distort to our properties now. Wonder what it is that the Daleks keep in here. I'll have to see. Hey, what are you doing? Stop, you can't go in there. Why not? Well, it's locked up, it's restricted. Don't state the obvious, my dear chap. What's so special about it, hmm? Well, it's... We've been told not to go in there. All the more reason to check it out, don't you agree? There we go. What's that? Some screwdriver. Look, if you have nothing useful to say, please be quiet. There. After you. I don't believe it. More Daleks. But there must be hundreds of them. This whole silo station is a Dalek production factory.